the hive and you know what it's women's month and of course when it's women's month we're gonna bring queens my darling right next to me i have my homie yes the one and only kb mutilanyane welcome to kaya 959 yes thank you i'm excited to be here ah man mm. now kb you are what we call a triple threat darling the dancer the actress and of course, what have I left out? Because the list is wrong. <laughs> uh, the actor, the dancer, and the singer, of course. You know? How do you juggle between all those three? So initially I used to think I have to choose. And then one day I thought, why am I choosing? I mean, if you can do all of them, why choose? Mm. So I I don't. I just be. If if I actually incorporate some of my, my, my dance experience into my acting, because mm. I realized that... Um, you know, body language is 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 a big thing, as yeah. you can tell with acting. So, I use my body to actually, you know, take the story further. Mm. Yes, mm, mm, <laughs> so I don't choose. So, KB, research has showed us that you've been in the industry since 1995. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Yes. Which makes it a whole 27 years. That's a human being who's gone to varsity yeah. and is probably married with well, children right now. Yeah, you know. Sure. How have you survived, especially as a black woman in the entertainment industry? Because there's a lot of exploitation. That Absolutely. Um, you know, it. I think. I think. In hindsight, I realized that. I sort of, you know, you go through phases. You go through that phase where you are launched and you are new and everything is happening. And, you know, like as it happened for me, um, I was in the movie Ali and, and backstage and the album. So all three happened at the same time. So <laughs> it was just a lot exciting and so on. And because of that, there are a lot of things. We were young. We didn't know that we needed to plan. We didn't know that we needed to prepare ourselves, mm. you know. So... Coming from that to now the hype dying down and then finally realizing, okay, now we actually have to put in the work and not knowing how to do it. So everything just, just became messy and stressful. Mm -hmm. And you realize that in that moment that nobody is actually interested in you, they're interested in the hype. Mm. And that becomes, it, it was very stressful, that phase for me. But what I did is I took some time off to just understand what's what's happening behind the scenes and to decide how I'd like to participate in the industry. Um, it took a long time yeah. as well because you have to go through things where you realize, oh my gosh, like this contract that I signed wasn't actually good for me. Then mm. you cry about it and then you realize, but you f signed the contract, nobody forced you, da 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 da, da. So mm. it's tough. You have to take a break to have kids. Mm. You have to, you know, you, you have to deal with things that, that the males don't have to deal with. Hey. But... At the same time, I say, you know, whenever there's a problem, it's also an opportunity to come up with solutions. And I'm constantly trying to find solutions. I'm tr constantly trying to find my own space, to find my own path, and 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 hopefully leave uh, an amazing legacy. Legacy, behind, yeah. yeah. How come when I fame hasn't done anything to you? You know, because like you're still the same. Your 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 profile. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're still the humble KB that we know. Like a person can call you and you're like, hey, look at thing. Like, I think it's because Northwest kids, I think we're used to this. Yeah. We, we, uh, I mean, if you remember back in the days, if you're a singer, you end up on stage. Yeah. And there was no uh, competition. Yeah, you, you're going to shine on my shine, you know. In fact, everybody featured everybody and everybody worked yeah. with everybody. I mean, um, Crowded Crew discovered me, Kiliko Studio, Saha, Glenn Lewis, with LGP. Mm. And they said, hey, you want to you wanna come sing with us? Da, 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 da. And then I ended up. So, and there was nothing, yeah, you're taking our singer and so on. So, I mean, I, I, you remember how it was in, in, in the Northwest back, yeah. back then. All you had to do was be dedicated and you'd end up in all the, the right places. Nobody questioned why owner and so on. We were always excited for each other, mm. couple top of the pops. Um, and and so I think when we came to Joburg, we came with that same energy and spirit and we didn't realize, no, 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 no. Here, it's a different world. It's got nothing to do with your talent, <laughs> you know? Um, so, I think so. I mean, we had we had what the best recording studio in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So BRS Studios. Yeah. Right. I recorded there. I think when I was thirteen years old. 
um we we had we did interviews we sang the jingles we so it, it for us it was it, it was just as a natural ne? yeah mm. yeah now earlier on you were talking about taking breaks yeah. and i've seen with you when you take a break you will even take a break of social media right yeah um <laughs> I think social media is something that we love to hate. Yeah. How have you coped? Uh, because cyberbullying is it's quite big. Mm. It's rife right now. Like, mm. okay. how how do you cope with that? With people being nasty and saying dodgy things. I think I've been very fortunate that I haven't experienced. It. Or if it happened, maybe I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I think for me, one of the most the most important thing for me, Winola, is I can't lose myself. Yeah, you know, um, and it's something that I that I that I realized. Kore, I, I I hold on to myself, and mohongi fila kore. Okay, if this doesn't work for me and it's not a fit, then I let it go. Mm. Uh, uh, I know that sometimes it means missing out. Sometimes it means not having the amount of followers that you should be having. But Hi. I I make peace with it. Kore, it's not me, and husi ami, why bon? Mm. Yeah. I think that's very profound because a lot of people right now, were, uh, in the especially in the entertainment industry, were chasing. I need to get four hundred thousand. I need to get a yeah. million followers. I need. To I mean, it's nice. I mean, I look at the people with the followers. I think, yeah, yeah you are killing this thing. And then I think, for now, um, I don't know. I uh, I'm still trying to find myself yeah uh, and and it's very interesting i mean after 27 years and you're still trying to find yourself in the industry i think the industry has changed so much mm. that you know we said earlier Jorge, it's not just about the talent anymore mm. so i'm still i'm still um, i still feel like um i'm discovering how else to to be in it but like i say at the same time staying true to myself yeah yeah Muramoto. yeah um <laughs> 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 from beginning till the end how did that happen yeah. um so ba bora ba ba this one we are sending to kb <laughs> 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 you know and and then oscar we go like astwana and i said okay ka simolla and you give me ke kutla le nna yona go thathologa i love go kwala ka astwana ka gore it's a way ya go preserve our language mm. and you know, you know mm. how it is. Um, and and it, it, it inspired me uh, to, to actually finish off my album. Yeah. this year. Um, yeah, so it's it's naughty, kya rumulana, but pina e ibuale, you know, kibuale mutaka kimara kire herawe. You know you were talking about your album. Mm. Um when when can oh. we expect it? Yeah. I know um, it takes it takes a while. No, no, I mean I've been writing. I didn't stop writing. Yeah. Uh, from the time Kitlochala Kitlochala music. Mm. Um so the pinati thing, the ready, I think in I got comfortable. Yeah. And it's like just getting back into that and I think you oh gonna twanze, gonna twanze, gonna twanze. And then you know how, how COVID did I thought to myself, I think we live in an age now where you have to to live your truth. And, and uh, 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 whatever you need to express, you must express it. Mm. Mm. For granted. For granted. So definitely this year, um, and I actually want to do a live um, <gasps> launch. Yeah, thing. It's been a long time. It's been too long. It's been too long. I miss, I miss the stage. Yeah. I miss music, you know. Yeah. And live performances are just live another performances, thing. Hey? Bonolo. I, and I think people miss that. I think we miss connecting, we miss each other. Um and uh, so I think a, a performance gives people something beautiful to connect um with, you know. Yeah. Uh, that live music, you know that guitar, ah. that the keys, the drums, the percussion. I think hey. that is the that's something that Rona is musicians, we owe the people. We we need to go through the process of healing ourselves and each other. We've mm. been through a lot. So definitely I know that a, a live performance will do that for me. Mm. And and everybody out there just to just to 
yeah, release. Yeah, release. If you wanna cry, cry. If you wanna, if you wanna jump, jump. <laughs> if you wanna dance, dance, dance. Yeah. So I'm looking at something early December. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. Mm. Yeah. Mama said, mm. thank you so much for coming through. Hello, thank you so so much. <laughs> Please, I'm fully stressed. When that album comes out, mm. right? We need to make sure that Kaya Nine Five Nine absolutely is one of the first people to play it. Absolutely, because I'm gonna be on some. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, I always say stars are not born; they're made. Yeah, and Kaya FM is one of those stations. Why are they play your songs every day? And you know what? Even if they are playing my music. Yeah. But ki, 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 this is one of the stations that has really, really kept me up there, um, supporting me. My music was just there playing. So you guys actually kept me alive, yeah. to be honest. If I don't involve you in, in, in my upcoming project. Mm. Thank yes. you so, so much. And all the best. Continue slaying, honey. Let's make it 48 years. When? Years. Great. When? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm really excited. I'm very emotional to be here. Yeah. <laughs> because I've been cooped up for such a long time and, and just coming out and opening up and sharing. Um, for me, music and, and being an artist is, 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 is a very emotional process. And, mm. you know, I, I always want to give people something special. Mm. So he's sitting here talking about it. Luhubuaka. When when the album is coming out, yeah, you commit so that I don't. I can't believe like a show. Yeah, you commit so that I don't relax. Get, ah, they don't know. Um, so I'm I'm very excited to be here and, and thank you for having me. Thank Yay. you so much. Yes. December. Yo. Why <laughs> tempe? <laughs> December, KB Mutilayani is going to be launching her album. I mean, of course, yes. the beautiful song Moramoto is going to be playing right here on The Hive with me, Bonola Beasting. This is Women's Month, and let's celebrate ourselves, ladies. Thank you so much. Can I yes. celebrate you? <laughs> I mean, we've come such a long way. I mean, I've known you from Goma Fikeng. And to see you here, I'm Thank very you. proud of you. Thank you. I'm extremely excited. And I know, Hori, you're only going to grow more and more and more. So celebrating women, when I celebrate oh, you. Oh, thank you so much, man. <laughs> yes. Bona, labels. <laughs> when a whole KV gives you pride. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hive on Kaya 959 on the street and on the air.